Hello everyone, welcome back to Yarns and Fins. I am Kay and for today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to crochet this top where you can add a ruffle sleeve or a puff sleeves. I did a separate tutorial for these sleeves and I will put the link on the description box below. In this tutorial, I will be working with the size extra small and for other sizes, I will indicate the pattern on the lower part of the screen. If you also want a written pattern for this design, I will put my shop link on the description box below. Without further ado, let's start. To begin, make a slip knot and chain a chain that stretches from your underarm down to your desired length. For my size, I made a total of 31 chains. For our first row, starting on the second chain from hook, single crochet in each chain till last. For row 2, chain 1, flip your work, and then single crochet in each stitches across. For row 3 onwards, repeat the same pattern on row 2 until you have a total of 16 rows. Now that you have your 16 rows, you will now start with the increasing rows. Start with chain 1, flip your work and single crochet the first 5 stitches. And then on the 6th stitch, make an increase. Increase means working 2 single crochets on the same stitch. Then continue working one single crochet in each stitches the last. For our second row with increase, start with chain 1, flip your work, and then single crochet in each stitches until you reach your increase from the previous row. So I'm here on the end of the row and again we will work an increase on the 6th to the last stitch and then single crochet the rest. Repeat the last 2 row pattern for 6 more rows, a total of 14 rows with increase. After that, it should look like this. You can also add a stitch marker to where you started your increase so you won't get confused. Now for the next rows, you will work a plain single crochets without increase. Don't forget to start your rows with chain 1. Make a total of 26 rows of single crochets without increase. After that, it should look like this.
at the end of the second row of the crease make a decrease on the sixth and seventh stitch to the last and then single crochet the rest Repeat the pattern of the last two rows with decrease for 6 more rows, a total of 14 rows with decrease. After that, it should look like this and again, we will add rows without increase or decrease for 16 more rows. After that, don't cut your yarn yet. We will now work with the edging and starting on this corner, chain one and then single crochet in each side of the rows across. Once you get on this side, we will now work with the lace holes. Begin with chain 4. Skip 2 stitch and single crochet on the next. Again chain 4, skip next 2 stitch and single crochet on the next. Repeat the pattern across and then you can adjust at the end if the stitches are not enough. Once you're done, it will look like this, and then continuing on this side, single crochet in each side of the rows across. So continue single crochet until you reach on this side, and repeat the pattern for the lace holes. Finish the piece with a chain 1 to secure, and then cut the yarn and weave. If you want to attach pads for your top, attach the pads on these parts. For the back lace, you can use a plain chains or any i-card pattern that is 2 meters long and you can also do this tutorial. So begin with a magic ring, chain 1 and then inside that magic ring, Work 8 single crochets. Mm -hmm. 
Then slip stitch on the very first single crochet and start chaining. Once you have a 2 meters long chain, on the second chain from hook, work 8 single crochets. Of course, you can add more chains if longer lace is needed. Finish it with a slip stitch on the first single crochet and then cut the yarn and weave the end. And that's it for our top. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to receive notifications for new uploads. Thank you for watching.